Yo, what is up guys, it's Tomio Gorgia and today for guys is a brand new triple nuclear gameplay in Black Ops 3 but on this one we're actually having three different DLC camos that literally just came out at the time of making this comedy two hours ago and Doom Tasty already managed to get a triple nuclear gameplay with this new camo so basically on this gameplay he got a nuclear with three different camos and what the what makes this gameplay even a bit cooler is that on three all three of those weapons he was actually using a different weapon as well so he got an elevate camo uh, nuclear with the m8 i believe cloud nine camo uh, nuclear with shiva and then finally he got a rise camo gameplay with the man of war so definitely huge props to tasty for actually getting this gameplay so so quickly usually tasty doesn't really run in full six mana parties unless he's going for a really really special gameplay and i would say this one definitely classifies as one so definitely go with the tasty channel and subscribe to his channel and definitely also drop a like on this video if you guys could do that that would be absolutely amazing and also subscribe to this channel that would be absolutely amazing as well so uh definitely let me know in the comment section down below what is your favorite camo out of this free i would say mine is probably the cloud nine uh just because it's kind of uh, different to both of the elevate and rise camos and both of those camos actually honestly it remind me quite a bit of the cwl camo that just recently got added to the black ops 3 as well so i don't know those, those camos just look kind of dull to me when on the other hand uh cloud nine camo is actually like all blue and pretty vibrant and all all that stuff so I don't know it kind of reminds me of the ice camo which is my favorite camo in Black Ops 3 from all the supply drop camo so maybe that's one of the reasons why I so much like the cloud 9 camo but definitely let me know in a comment section down below what is your favorite camo out of these DLC camos and I don't know uh, I was kind of wondering this I was talking about it on my previous commentary as well that hopefully like all these players and uh, organizations do get paid from Activision to actually you know Activision to be able to put these camos into their game because I'm sure Activision is making a lot of money but actually I also thought that I wonder if they will be bringing or making these team camos in IW as well because last year they actually did this on Advanced Warfare they brought some optic gear and and actually I think it was like around 10 optic members actually got like a really special edition of the optic gear because if you guys remember you could unlock the black versions of uh, some optic gears like exos and boots and shirts and all that stuff from supply drops but I think it was like uh, 10 optic members got like a full-on whiteout uh, version of everything which I think is pretty damn special that Treyarch and Activision and all these game developers are actually paying more attention to these pro teams and organizations and I guess just adding stuff to uh, you know if you guys want to support your favorite teams and whatnot so hopefully they will be bringing something like this on IW as well I'm sure there is some copyright issues there might be some but if they do bring out supply drops on IW which I strongly believe that they will I would really like to see uh, you know some people repping some different organizations and whatnot and I don't know like it's not really a game breaking uh, product I guess you know like I'm all for like these supply drops as long as they're cosmetic but at the moment uh, as soon as they start bringing you know weapons and you know all that stuff then it gets like you know I don't necessarily want to be doing that but you know if you're gonna play pay for supply drops and you know re be repping your favorite teams and you know I'm not gonna get a uh, you're you're not gonna get an unfair advantage to gunfights you know because you're repping something you know like because you get lucky from a supply drop I don't think that should be a thing by any means so we'll see what they will bring out on IW I'm sure that there is gonna be a lot of stuff uh, you know from supply drops and I'm pretty sure they will probably bring up weapon variants as well which kind of sucks one thing that I actually did find a bit interesting on this gameplay is that you guys will see that on the first nuclear tasty is actually mainly holding these enemies on the C domination flag but actually on his second and third nuclears which he's gonna get on the second side uh, second half of the match he's actually not deciding to flip the spawns back to C instead he's actually keeping the enemy spawning on Adam which usually every time when I trap on nukes and I trust me I trap a lot of a lot of nukes down I always like to flip the enemies on C like no matter what I always prefer the enemies to be spawning on C because I just find it way easier but Tasty actually decided to go a different route and managed to still get this triple nuclear game plan I think it kind of almost seemed that he was most more successful uh, when the enemies were spawning on the A side which is pretty weird at least in my opinion because if you see any uh, gameplays on Nuketown in YouTube and all these pop stomping gameplays almost every single gameplay the enemies are spawning on CDAM and as I was talking earlier Tasty doesn't really run in full parties too often so I guess this 
gameplay really just proves what he can do once he's running in full parties because this gameplay is on core dude it's not even on hardcore and uh, that just makes it this gameplay so so much better honestly i don't think tasty was even expecting to be getting a triple maybe he was going for a double with two different weapons or whatever because getting a triple nuclear on core is extremely extremely difficult and honestly there isn't too many of these gameplays out on youtube i'm sure there's like you know you do some you know like over a 10 or whatever because this game is like 10 months old or whatever but in general you don't really see more uh, that many triple nuclear gameplays in core most of the gameplays are always on hardcore and and me personally, dude, I trap a lot, like, I be streaming every single day, and I be trapping so, so much, and I definitely know the struggle, so definitely huge props to Tasty for actually managing to pull this gameplay, dude, it's just crazy to think about that he already managed to get this gameplay when, uh, like, within two hours, like, that is just insane to me, and I'm pretty sure he got this gameplay on his first or second try actually going for this intense, insane gameplay, so I, I don't know how this man does it. I'm pretty sure that most of his weapons he was using, I don't have the class setups, but usually be 5p playing, uh, usually I'm gonna be using like, you know, ELO, quick draw, stock, fast mags or something like that and then I think Tasty is using Afterburner, Scavenger and Fast Hands I would assume on most of these classes. So, you know, if you guys wanna be going super hard, especially on Nukes Town, I mean, I guess honestly these class setups mostly apply on every single map I suppose, especially if you're running ARs, I would definitely recommend that class setup, you know, using the ELO if you guys don't like the iron sights, I suppose, quick draw, stock, fast max, maybe rapid fire depending on the weapon that you're using, plus either afterburner or overclock and then scavenger and fast as definitely, you guys can go some, you guys can go on some serious serious streaks and destroy enemies definitely, but that is pretty much the gameplay coming to an end, I'm gonna cut it uh, down a bit just so that you guys won't see me like just so that it's not gonna be like a 15 minute gameplay you know but hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay definitely drop a like on this video if you can shoot for 2000 likes for this insane gameplay that would be absolutely amazing and also be sure to subscribe to tasty channel and subscribe to this channel if you guys are brand new but that is pretty much it thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time bye